Hello everyone. Uh, haven't been made in tutorial tutorial in a while, so sorry. I better make one. Um, I'll be finishing up the calculator tutorials, but one day I made it, but then I lost it. So I'll have to remake that. So what we want to do is open up Xcode, and today we're going to be making a view switcher. So switch views with animation and non-animation. There are two ways of doing it. There are also more ways of doing it, but I'll just show you two ways. So let's go and make a view-based application. Name it View Switcher. Just save it to desktop. Make it big. Um, we need to go into here. Uh, view Switcher. View Controller. Dot H. So let's just go. We don't really need any outlets, so IV action. We may need an outlet, but we'll see that later on. But I don't. We shouldn't be. We shouldn't need one. IV action. Change view semicolon. Uh, let's go in the nib file. View, view switcher. View controller. Um, let's just change the background to white. Um, let's add a button. Click to change views. Let's lay out alignment. Vertical center, alignment, horizontal center. This makes it nice and organized. That's there. Click on the button. Hold control, drag and drop. Yeah, my Xcoder interface builder is busted because it takes me like 20 clicks to do something with that um command s for command or save and command q to quit um go with the view switcher dot m so i the action um click change if that's what it was oh change view not click change And um, let me go ahead and copy this code to make it easier. Well, what we want is just uh, put this code in here, and we'll change this later. But this is what's going to be used to change the views. This line of code, but we need to create a new view controller. So file, new file. UI view controller subclass with XIB for user interface. Next, let's call it view two dot m. Let's drag the XIB down to where would wait other resources under resources. My bad. And put an IV action to go back. Semicolon. View 2.xib. Open it up. Just add a button saying go back. Um, text color black. And then we'll just add a label to make sure it's view two, view two. Control dragged files under and click go back. Command save, command quit. Now let's go over here to view cons 
view, switcher, view, switcher, view controller dot h, um, import view to dot h. So that that tells us that when we use view two down here, it recognizes that. So we don't have any errors. So we can use things in between the classes. Um, let's see, that works, that works. So dot import um, view control view. Switcher view controller dot h oops I B action go back open brackets close brackets copy and paste the code again that was view switcher view controller let's call it view one View one, view one, view switcher view control, allocate it initial, and let's see. Let's build this. Make sure there aren't any errors. Oh, it's good. Okay. Um, click to change it. And it goes back and forth between the views. You also could just go in the view control two dot names because you're going back. You just do um, view two. Wait, view two. Um, this miss model view. This small dismiss. Is that right? Uh, wait, don't even do that. I don't think that's the right code. Well, just don't even worry about that. Wait, I could do something to check. It should be dismissed model view controller, but we'll just do that for another time. Well, I hope, well, I don't have enough time to put the second way in here, but I'll put a part two to this onto it. So, um, thanks. Hope you learned something and bye.